All right, for this week's Community Spotlight, I took a visit to the Safari North Wildlife Park to check out their different animals and to talk with the owner about the end of the season. It's been three years since the Safari North Wildlife Park opened its doors to the public. Now the park gets over 30,000 visitors each season. This is something that we've always wanted. This has been a dream of ours forever, and the Brainerd Lakes area was just a perfect fit for what we wanted to do. Animals have always been a passion for owner Kevin Vogel and his family. We've had animals for, you know, 25, 30 years. You know, I started out with a little raccoon when I was just a, a little boy, so yeah, it's been my whole life. The park is settled on 43 acres and is home to almost 100 different species. Some of those species include talking birds. <laughs> and active monkeys. We have the giraffes, which are very unique. Um, we have uh, white tigers, which are also very, very unique. We have hyenas, uh, lots of kangaroos, different birds. We have just a little bit of everything for everybody. Vogel, being the animal enthusiast that he is, has no plans on slowing down. Well, we're always gonna expand into the woods, into the North American Trail. We're gonna expand that a little bit, but uh, we just wanna open a lot more different exhibits. Uh, I wanna do a big bird aviary, uh, walk-in aviary, something really, really large. Uh, just just every year that we will be adding something every single year. And that is what encourages guests like Bill Brown to buy season passes for him and his family. I love that they keep adding to and changing every year uh, more exhibits and making it a little better. Safari North prides itself on the interactive opportunities it offers its visitors. We've got deer. You can go in and pet the deer. You can feed the giraffes. You can ride a camel. We've got some very large tortoises. You can go in there with the tortoises. And and the face-to-face -face interaction gives kids an opportunity to get up close and personal with animals from all over the world. I think anytime that you're introducing kids to wildlife, it's teaching them about you know different habitats and animals and parts of the world. It's it's good. The last day for this summer safari north season will be on September 25th in Brainerd for this week's community spotlight, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The Safari North is open seven days a week from 9 to 6. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.